come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the knock your bitch man. Step up! These are the moments when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense no matter what. These are the moments when every gangster gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense. In Jamaica's relentless war and crime, the worst criminals end up on the true island stories platform. These are their stories. I want all eyelids up on this beautiful girl. She's missing. The pic you were looking at on your screen, presently, it's her. The red dress and glasses with a brightly smile. Her name is Ashley Anderson. She's 12 years old and she was last seen on February 24th, 2022 at Holy Charlotte High School in her school uniform. If anyone has any information about Ashley's whereabouts, call her 119, the Jamaica Constabulary, or call her mom at 876-551-1193. Again, that's Miss Ashley Anderson, 12 years old. She went missing as of the 24th of February in this year, 2022, not so long ago. She attends all the childhood school and that's where she was last seen. So call the number on your screen if you have any kind of information. It may lead to a reward. And now for a feature presentation. Welcome to True Island Stories. This is a part two of part six, the finale, finito of the Big Ed, a.k.a. Flingfoot. Tevin Bell, and sometimes I mix up him name people say with me, but a Tevin Bell, I'm government name, you understand? So this is the conclusion, and please stay tuned because we have another a segment, you know what I mean, on current topics, Wagwa, nowhere. It might be important, you know, if you listen, you understand me? And we can also post a video on the current status of some of our Jamaican students that got caught over. I don't want to say the name, you know, over the, over the cane. I call it cane, you understand me? Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, so we have to tell you for them status. Cause we have some Jamaican students, you know, we get caught up over there. And, you know what I mean? I'm sure we'd like to know, you know what I mean? And of their well-being and hope they are safe, you know. So stay tuned if you want to find out about that, you understand? All right, so we left half now in a part two. You see me when the kickly now go on. You see me and Stingy him drop out. He had bled out from Dexter's skeleton and some loose skelly well when pick up out of the squad of them six pans. But as me said, there were three remaining as they abandoned their locomotive. And all three knew in their subconscious it was thee for thyself and the motherless gods for them all. So, different style now. So, as they fled the unit, fling foot, wheel off him, AK, and blase, blase, the squad of them. Pishong, pishong, ching, ching, ching. And so, the skeletal skeleton them up. Punks off of the cops, them weak like bumper wall, tread elastic as they return the fire desperately in the carnage. Fling foot, spin around and balance fiend K with both ends as he rained down the hell fire on the lawmen in what looked like to be a heck of a finish on the run to the Pearl and Paul. The lawmen braved the wave and returned the 7.6 tools ferociously in their bid to shock and all them. It was utter mayhem in the city of heroes as onlookers scurries haphazardly to safety. Bam, 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 bam. Bam 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 bum 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 the two factions exchange fire darkly on the barrel fling foot and tarzan on the inside squaddy on his platoon on the outside as skeletons in and tate the rural geographics of St. Thomas fling foot attempted to head for the bushes as Tarzan was swinging a length and three parts before him. Bob he's got that like a scared day as the three diabolical pilgrims search for safety in the land of the unforgiving as a squad they line up fling foot in his cross he is and had him dead to right in his cup he gently squeezed the trigger from his A216 carbine and release a rapid burst from it muscle brr, 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 boom 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 brr. Flingfoot was hit multiple times in the regions of his sociopathic anatomy. Three skeletons hit Fling and hoisted him off the ground six feet in the air and fell him flat on his face as his rival separated from his 
against the grass. Then Squaddy stood over Flingford and rearranged his handsome. Boom, 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 Be a facial. Tarzan, he also picked up coin as he tried to fight as we changed again. Him goes so boop. I run in a woman house and juke around and say, hey, girl, I'm me and you dead today. The dog goes so boop and shoot me my pistol nuzzling a boo and say, hey, girl, not a son. Our mama are a dead. I'm me and your man today. I'm sorry. And she whispered frantically, <laughs> me and you dead today. Oh, you have sense, replied Tarzan. But the cops got wind of his look and quickly surrounded the perimeter. They kicked in the door, boom, and went in. But he had ample time to hide his house up as he accepted defeat and contemplated his surrender. The yard was crowded with curious onlookers, so that rendered the cops incapable of carrying out their intent of murder. They dragged him into the yard darkly as they subdued him and restrained him from his liberty. Bob had escaped into the bushes and run in a peasant farmer, a local if you will. Bob shook him 49 bugo and rubbed him doggy when the peasant started pleading for his oxygen. You kill me, I'm going to do me, I kill me, I'm going to be good, kill them, kill him, I'm going to do me, I'm going to be good, kill them, kill me, I'm going to kill me, I'm going to take care of me, pick me there, you know what's the way. And Bob said, you know what, I stay him on. And Bob said, boy, give me that shirt in the pants the way I want to, yeah? Because Bob too was blooded from the lawn and so succeeds. No one had escaped unscathed. All except one. Tarzan, lord of the jungle, saved by the almighty Pumps. The farmer reassured Bob he could lead him to the way to the main road and to escape the rugged terrains. And they made a life-threatening deal right there, right then on the ground. The farmer did as he promised and led Bob to the path of freedom. He brought him through some back choppies and thick shrubberies that led back straight to the main road where Bob frantically <laughs> fell down a taxi and jumping and fled. But only for a short time he was later tracked down and captured by the lawmen. And him and Tarzan are now lifers at some random penal institution in the badlands somewhere afoot. Both men live to tell the tale. Stingy and Bighead, a.k.a. Flingfoot. Well, they were not as lucky. They had run their final race. Bighead and Stingy were dead. And the gruesome death pic of Bighead will be in my Patreon WhatsApp group. Tear up in fierce brawling. Stingy got stung by a bigger, badder bee. As he too succumbed to his injuries. So a gripping tale of a diabolical delinquent once again came to a tragic end. I just will end if you'd ask some. And they decided to tell you. So to all the pilgrims and top flick flickers out there, I sincerely hope you have learned or have learned lessons from these stories. Nine times out of ten, they only in one of two ways. Jail or dark. Now this is an extension of the episode. You understand me? Now an extension of the episode will be on the Patreon page of Big Ed. You know what I mean? So you don't want to miss that. That will be on the Patreon soon. Alright? Yeah, some darker deeds. Now, onto the Jamaican students, some who were trapped. This video should add some clarification with regards to their status in this, their present predicament. Now, take a listen. Good evening, good evening Jamaica and Jamaicans overseas who have been following the issue of our students uh, in Ukraine. I wanted to let you know that the 24 students that left Lviv earlier today, uh, you heard about their uh, bus drive being uh, disrupted so that they had to take the rest of the journey on foot, that they have uh, reached a border point, an agreed border point. Uh, of course, these areas are extremely crowded, so it will take time for them to go through. Regrettably, we understand that two of the students are not feeling well, uh, one in particular because of the cold. She's currently getting care in an ambulance now at that border crossing point. Miss Seely and uh, our Polish contact on the other side are on their way to the border point and uh, they do have a heated bus that is ready to accommodate the 24 students when they will have crossed through. And as I've indicated before, we've made arrangements for accommodations and food on that side. And of course, we know that arrangements are being made in respect of flights back home as soon as they are available. 
So the, we, I'm just asking for uh, some calm and understanding, understand the crowds that are there at this point in time at each of the border crossings. We have had confirmation from the Polish, for, Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs that they have received the names of our students. We have sent them formally, so they should not have a, um, any difficulty in entering Poland. The difficulty now is the sheer size of the crowds and therefore the time it takes to get through. So I'm asking you, Jamaica, and all our Jamaican friends, pray for them, pray for their strength, their good health, and their resilience for their passage through onto the other side. Thank you so much for giving them your every good wish and prayer. You. Okay, you have listened. So we all know this thing is affecting the entire world. I know that the bigger, bigger things are in play, the clears. As we move on, call it, you don't know YouTube. So I'm say clear, so understand. The new and then the clear, is it me? Yeah. And if this man goes any further with his intentions, his crazy intention, then I hope you all know this could mean utter devastation for mankind globally. And I do not mince word. It will affect all of us as it is now. Because once the interruption of the gas has gone underway, then we shall feel it at the gas pump. The West too, we shall feel it with food, everything, because it takes gas to move products. Food I go, go up. So if you can buy some rice, you know, some non-perishable goods, tin things and go and store them up, because trust me, they will increase. This is no games, this is no joke. You understand? Price will go up. Now I'm going to do another video how to prepare from the big clear soon, you know what I mean? Because you know one get catch the pants of your foot, you see me? Because when this man draft the, the, the clear, he must realize say, that is not him alone have the clear capabilities. And his country, his people will also be the full blunt as well. Because other people have. And then we aim it over there. So he must be very careful. You notice people are demonstrate over there in the big rush. Yeah. Over the rush, yeah, people are demonstrating because they don't want this. Because know, everybody knows where it can lead to, but if you understand, say, the man we are dealing with, him worse than Hitler. Because guess what, him have a diminished fear of, fe of fear. You know what I mean? Like literally, you know, he was diagnosed. It's not the proper term, but let me explain it to you. When him test him, capacity low. It's like the man who walk out in a truck and, and him not think the truck can lick him down kill him. Like seriously, because when the young guy tried to join the Kremlin, and them wouldn't take him because them say he was a very dangerous man. And Kremlin said say that, you know. Said that man, this man is a very dangerous man because this man you know, have fear in him. So when a man has no fear, you know, he no fear consequence, you know. He, he might not react like how oh, I work, like how oh, normal human being work. So you have to understand how oh, the West are dealing with. Now, the rest of people in the country are starved because the rupees them drop to one penny. One penny, you know. So, you know, so everybody would have loaded rich. Them money no value shit no more. Them immediately poor. Immediately poor. Financial wise. Them can't trade with the West. That mash up them pocket. Them can't move around them money. Now, you ain't got some up on a sanction them property. A whole lamp on them boat. Them a whole lamp on them ship. Them merchant ship. We value millions of dollars. So, what do you think of that? Them a got turn against, against the man. Because the whole of them are come out now and I lick out. Yeah, them start come out now because them money I get seized, them billions I get seized. So Chelsea coach of Hanover, caretaker ship to some English. And the English, they want to fool all the packet I get hurt to. You see me? Yeah, his country, his people will also have to bear the blunt as well. You understand me? If him drop, none of them clear that. Now, does he want to go that far? That man is very lie and unpredictable. As we have come to know, he can't be trusted. His people are now suffering tremendous repercussions from all these new sanctions imposed on him and also them from the West. Their rupees, their money, has now hit all-time rock bottom. Yeah. From then get cut off from the SWIFT, the banking system will enable people to move their money around globally. It has hit their economy real hard. If you see the long line, then you see the long line them where people are long run, stretch on building and try to draw money just to buy food. So it now affect one side, it affect theme side. But the money not have empathy. The money 
you know, in mind, I'm going to deal it later. I'm going to deal that later. I'm not care about that, brother. I want thing just like it now. I will know how that ended up. Some brave men, you know, if it weren't for some brave men and women who sacrifice so we can now live in a civil society. And the same thing. But history always repeats itself, you know. Don't take a man with an ideal and a belief, but there are two sides to each story. And some will say, yeah, but US to this and US to that. But yet still they live in the USA and I benefit half of whatever them do. So if you're against them so much, you know, just pack up and go back where you come from. Hmm? Pack up and go back where you come from. But you benefit, right now, you benefit half of the democracy. Freedom of speech, although it's not really free. Food, clothes, and a better way of living. Ask yourself, am I not living a better life than where I'm coming from? But yet still, you dig up every fault. I mean, things happen. Me not can do it. But me not got to eat the food. And yet still, me actually cut off the hand where I feed me. That makes sense to you? Hmm? So ask yourself. The man where I feed, if you cut off a man tomorrow, and I help cut off a man. You're dead for younger tomorrow, and you watch your picnic them, and finish them gravel and gravy. That may I tell you. Oh. Now, cutting him off from the swift will have a long term effect on his economy. Very long term. He didn't realize that the oppressed also would be so resilient in their defense. That is why the possible threat of the clear are now being introduced by him, put on high alert. But as we may say, I'm alone of them. And God help the country who give him safe even for launch them there. Them the country they get wiped off of the map. So we don't have to understand how brittle the situation is. Now, see, Japan just say, yo, them were um, host back the clear day again after they were banned in 1945 from ever hosting or holding any form of that because they are deemed dangerous. But they are part of the uh, NATO ally out, you understand? So now, this thing here, what my whole heap of See, China man, them there, boom, them scramble nine fighter jets over Taiwan the same day Russia invade. Now, Taiwan and them have the chip, they make the chips. We're going to phone, car, all of them things there. That's how powerful little Taiwan is. That's why China want it. Because China get that, you can't stop them. So USA can't just run in, go fight for everybody. And no say a bigger threat out there too. So now if you pay very attention, nobody can move. You know what I mean? With them heart, they have to move with their mind. And plan strategically. But you can't to show your hand. Because everybody are watching and say, well, this is all right. We are going to this counter that. So right now, it's a cat and mouse game of playing in the alley. So when my boy introduced them to you, in the end, he can't win in the long run. That's all the time will tell. Because I understand the release of this new thing will have catastrophic effect, not only with immediate physicalities, but it will also have catastrophic effects on our atmosphere, our solar system, and global warming will change from global warming to global hot. Cause them thing they pierce the ozone layer. And when they pierce the ozone layer, you know how much microbes out there spin up in the atmosphere outside of the ozone layer. And if you open it any wider, cause big hole in it now, you know. So if this happens, it's gonna go bust it out wider and then all of the things them were the solar system the ozone layer designed to keep from we virus untold radiation all that I go do a let in that part earth. Listen me carefully, you know, brother. Me not talk because I love talk. Me I tell you facts. If we think we say hurricane in Jamaica, if we think we say tornado or hurricane in America or globally, we don't see nothing yet, man. Me I tell you about some earthquake, tornado because we shall also pay a global penance as humans for what I call nature's reprisal. You think we say tornado and tidal with it? I remember when an earthquake leaked, you know, on the epicenter, all 10, you could also some magnitude 11 half of the Richter scale. Now, you know that cause, that trigger, tidal wave, tidal wave, wipe off country half of, the, uh, half of Earth, send it to a sea, turn it to a sea. One of them tidal waves, they will last the Caribbean. This is facts for me, I tell you, you know. Ice cold planet, unbearable heat, land becoming unfarmable. Volcanoes will erupt worldwide with more frequency. Now, when one of them clear the job, which part of the job them call it ground zero. Now, 
if you're there at 200 miles, you know, nobody feel like you get away. You know. Say if it drop a mobile and you're there at town, you're still no good, brother. Because you have a thing with them called the fall. The fall is the radiation. When that has come back down upon earth, when it explodes and come back down upon earth, if you're not prepared, you're in a problem. Or something you can't even escape it. But I'm going to do a video separate and apart. All who want to listen can listen, you know. Or all who feel like say them tough can go and tough it out. You understand? No, all of this are happening. You know what I mean? With all these new devastating challenges, when we are still battling a serious epidemic, a pandemic, that we don't even have legitimate answers or cure for yet. So you see, if this is allowed to continue, we are all heading down an, an irreversible path of total human annihilation. And I say this without mincing words, but they are serious. So all who don't believe in nothing, or never believe in nothing for going to build up a Jamaica, or send back nothing, you might want to start do something. I suggest you start making some serious plans just in case. Don't wait till last minute because failing to prepare means you are only preparing to fail. And all that who down there say them a fight against the corner there and that one day a fight against over there so trust me, you might want to think for stop, you know what I mean? Because who to tell? Maybe the same one from six G City or the same one from Bad Breed get called up and you have to go fight side by side. Now you're not no more six and Bad Breed, you know you are you are Jamaican. Not only Jamaican, you are representing the West. Cause maybe your very life, your very existence might depend on it. And it's on cold and it's on calculating and it's on you know what I mean, depressing, but are the truth, I mean, you know what else you tell you. So instead of fight against one another, you don't need all them arms there. You don't have. You see, in the crane, every civilian or who stand back or who stay back of it, get arms up. In a business, who a fight, who a which gang a fight, who everybody a one umbrella. Nobody feel like say it can't reach our doorstep. Wise. Look where are going in the world. Because, believe me, it a reach all our doorstep. And we see it at the gas pump. We see it in the supermarket and it's going to get worse. So, to be warned is to be forearmed. What will you do? The Guru has spoken. We have come to the end of the two section video. I hope you learned something from it. Some people have skipped well. Who will be unto them who skip on our knowledge? Serious, no games knowledge. It's up to them. Blessed are the peacemakers because they will hide when they finish it. When you go like you never see me sit in the church or the Bible tear out. When I look at me, I say, peacemaker, please up the church bench on the back. But everybody wise up here, man, because we're going to need each other. We're all going to need each other. Bless upon yourself. Remember the Darker Side of Paradise, the audio book from the Guru, the autobiography. If you want copies, $50 copy. All who want set up this dub plate, you know, link the guru. So I can link him, because enough people are link him and can't get him. So if you don't get him on him Instagram, just link me and me reach out to him. You understand, because enough people want the dub plate them, so you know the thing. Go. And him saying, no, I don't dub plate for you. What will you choose? So nobody not ask him for that. Not, no, nobody not have it on dub. So him no, I don't know dub, so him ask me for telling you. So don't request no dub for what will you choose, because I don't know none for that. Alright, so bless upon yourself. But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up in two island stories. What will you choose? Why well, yes, them so coming out the one out the holy girl in the man. Yeah. Now I hear you with me. Question What will you choose? Let God go to come and TIS news. What will you choose? Cry peace all day in the field. What will you choose? Lego the gonna come from CBM News. What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose. Don't say that with the touch. 
Night time them run out fully dark Guns on one another, everything a sparks But who are the piranha? Which one of the shark? Moon and black rims but the cat seem soft And I estimate the pass and them get them head cock Screamers and white dream and them a war Whole place fuck up from them gone with the boss Scared them we dream a rock man dark Whole place I'm one from them like a playboy When the man drop and who get the joy? Panty eyes, you turn star, but what will you choose? Lego the go that come panty eyes, no, so what will you choose? Cry peace or day in the field, what will you choose? Lego the go that come pan CVM, no, so what will you choose? Cry peace or day in the field, what will you choose? What will you choose? Oh, what will you choose her, uh, what will you choose her? Uh, Charlie Wap, lock down rock foot Mikey Pelp, head in a boat No no drop but him badness a good Jet clean, make enough man free for God Chubby Jed and Pogo out of salt Not the mark than you enough man them out Junglist them we kill you then go burn down your house CL in a tent at the end in a thump down your mouth well, You do the crime then, you do the time Can't escape, you can't blur the line I choose the fifth and tear off the same And you can't mix up looks, man, with up a film Marcel Port more loan assassin One more shot to the court by the bing Rock court rise the four and the god that I sing What will you choose? Lego the gonna come and tear his news What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field What will you choose? Lego the gun a come and see me news What will you choose? Choose, lose, lose